This video will show you how to use the Apridia Printmate AS Cassette Printer to print your own cassettes. This is the Printmate, and this is the tablet, which allows you to control the printer and edit the items you want to print on your cassettes. The power switch of the cassette printer is on the left corner of the back of the unit. Press the switch to turn it on. It will take a few minutes to warm up the printhead. When it is ready to use, you will see ready in the display. These are the cassette hoppers, and there are six hoppers in total. You can put your cassettes in any hopper you like. You should use high quality cassettes, and the label surface of the cassette must have a 45 degree angle. If the lid attaches to the body of your cassette, you have to remove the lid. Now, you can drop the cassettes into the open top of one of the six hoppers. Please make sure that the label surface of the cassette is face down. There are three outlets. This is outlet number one, outlet number two, and outlet number three. You can choose one of the three outlets on the software. The printed cassettes will come out from that outlet. Here is a sample of a printed cassette. This is the label area of the cassette. There are four items which you can edit and print on the cassette. Your lab name or project name, the date, the specimen name, and the specimen number. This is the QR code. All the information of your items except the date is stored and displayed in the QR code. So later on, if you would like to use the slide printer, you can scan this QR code and all the information on the cassette will be transferred and printed onto your slides. Due to space limitations, the maximum number of characters for lab or project name is six which includes numbers, letters, and spaces. For the specimen name, the maximum number is eight. For the specimen number, the maximum number is three. For the date, you can put the full year, month, and day separated by slashes. Next, we will show you how to use the tablet and edit the items you would like to print on your cassettes. Turn on the power switch here. The software we are going to use is called LabWriter. It is located on the desktop. Click on the icon LabWriter. Once the program is open, choose the template Histology 2. Under items, choose the hopper from which you have loaded your cassettes. For example, if you have loaded your cassettes in hopper number one, then choose hopper number one from the drop down list. Next, choose the outlet from which the printed cassettes come out. For example, choose outlet number two. Next, select the quantity of cassettes you want to print with the same label. For example, when you select one, it will print only one cassette. There are four items you can edit and print. First, edit the specimen name. The specimen name can include letters, numbers, and spaces, and the maximum number of characters is eight. For example, brain Q8. Next, edit your lab name or project name. The maximum number of characters is six. So for example, CFI 168. This is the case number or sample number, and the maximum number of characters is three. For example, one, two, three. The last field is the date. You can put today's date or any date you like. For example, 2023, 02, 17. Then click add. Now 
you can review the label under the print section on the right side of the screen. If everything is correct, click print. Here is your printed cassette. If you want to make changes to your label, highlight the label, click remove, then click yes to confirm the removal. Now you can redo it. If you don't want to print one of these four items, you can uncheck the square box beside the item. For example, if you don't want to print the case number, unclick the box, then click add. Now, the case number will not be shown on the label. Click print to print your cassettes. You can edit and add as many labels as you like. Then, click print to print all the cassettes together. When you are finished using the cassette printer, please shut down the tablet and turn off the PrintMate unit. If you have any questions, you can find the user manual on our website. You can also contact Shifang Lu, the histology specialist, to get in-person training or ask questions. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your research project.